Now, to be fair, there is well-documented, I don't want to say beef, but certainly well-documented tension between Mike Tyson and Deontay Wilder. I have to say that to be fair. But nonetheless, Mike Tyson doesn't have an issue with Tyson Fury. Yeah, Tyson Fury and Mike Tyson seem to be cool with each other. They've met and there's no issue there. Despite that, though, Mike Tyson is saying, in his opinion, Anthony Joshua is the best heavyweight out there. He thinks Joshua is better than Wilder. He thinks Joshua is better than Fury. That's his opinion. Now, also, to be fair, I have to say that a lot of the old time fighters, people like Mike Tyson, you know, guys who are doing different things in their lives now. Tyson does movies and he goes around on speaking tours and stuff like that. And he's obviously got a family. Guys like that, a lot of these old, old time fighters, they're not necessarily very up to date when it comes to the current fighters. That's what I do have to say. They don't necessarily know who the current fighters have all fought, when they're fighting next, the politics surrounding They're not really up to speed, a lot of them, on that kind of stuff. But certainly, historically, if you go back to Mike Tyson when he was active, and certainly when he was a young man, a young champion, this is a guy who was a boxing scholar. This is a guy who was like a repository. His brain is a repository of boxing knowledge. He absorbed so much knowledge when he was living with Customer and was a young a teenager, it was incredible to the point where Costamado actually said that Tyson remembers more about the old fighters than Cos himself. Now, to be fair, Cos was an old man, and when you get old, your memory <laughs> starts to fail you. <laughs> and I'm finding that already, and I ain't even that old yet. But yeah, your memory does start to fail you. But he was incredibly impressed by the amount of knowledge Mike Tyson absorbed. Because uh, Costamado had a lot of fight films. Well, him and Jimmy Jacobs had an enormous amount of fight films, at, films and Bill Caton. And Tyson had access to all these fight films and old issues of the Ring magazine and all this kind of stuff. And Tyson became a boxing scholar at a very young age. So he, he understands boxing. He understands it from a technical point of view. He understands tactics. He understands the psychology. You know, Tyson's a boxing man. And he is most impressed with Joshua. More so than Fury. More so than... Wilder from what he's seen, he says that Joshua is more well put together in terms of the technical aspect. Now, I don't, I'm not sure how much he's seen of Tyson Fury, because I think Tyson Fury is very well put together in terms of technique. Uh, but still, that's Tyson's opinion. He believes that Anthony Joshua is the best of the bunch. And I kind of go along with what Evander Holyfield has said about the current heavyweight scene. Holyfield said, we don't know who the best is. Holyfield's an Alabama boy, just like Deontay Wilder, but Holyfield is not willing to say Wilder is the best. Holyfield said, well, we, won't, we don't know who's the best until they step in the ring. So there's no point in me speculating, you know, until they get in the ring, we don't know. And that's the realest thing that you could say. Rather than say Joshua's a coward, he's garbage, or Wilder's garbage, or Tyson Fury's garbage, rather than saying all that, the most sensible thing to say is, well, we don't know who's the best. They have to get in the ring and then we'll see. And that's what I keep saying. I'm not one of these people out here dismissing Wilder, dismissing this, dismissing. No, no, no. If Fury's at his best, and Wilder's at his best, and Joshua's at his best, I don't know who's the best out of them. I want to see them fight each other and then we can find out. Then we don't have to speculate. You know, I can give you, uh, you know, if you... If I was forced to pick somebody who I think, as an educated guess, would turn out to be the best of the bunch, I could do that. But that don't mean I'm going to be right. That don't mean I'm telling you that I'm going to be right. No, I'm not, I'm not telling you that I'm going to be right at all. It would just be an educated guess. That's all I'd be offering you. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think about Mike Tyson saying Joshua is the best of the bunch. And again, I know there are going to be a lot of Wilder fans saying, oh, Tyson's just bitter because he don't like Wilder. There's beef between the two, so you can't expect an objective opinion. But what about the fact that he's cool with Tyson Fury? He's never had no beef with Fury. Fury's never had no beef with Mike Tyson. But yet Tyson is saying Joshua's better than him, in his opinion. You know? So, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments, people. It's Hatman, I'm out.